Hi everyone, let's look at an analysis of uh, the other operating expense. You have an example of that in homework uh, number four on chapter three. Uh, the pattern somewhat holds. Notice when we were doing sales revenue and insurance expense, uh, we were looking at the beginning and the ending balance. Uh, here again, we're playing this the same role of beginning and ending balance, but this time we are looking at accrued liabilities for other operating expenses. Notice the pattern again of the beginning balance and the ending balance. Now this is a little bit different because receivables is an asset account. And asset accounts have a normal debit or left side T account balance. Uh, prepaid insurance is also an asset account, so it has a debit or a left hand side of the T account balance when you have your beginning and your ending. Crude liabilities payable though is a liability, so it's going to have a normal credit balance or right hand side uh, of the T account balance. Come over here, you will notice we have 660 and 740, which kind of frames our question, 660 and 740. The only reason I highlight this is if we have liabilities payable of 660 to begin the, the cycle, that means at some point, someone should must have recognized 660 debit of other operating expenses. This is per se not in the question, I'm just showing you, you don't have an unbalanced entry. If we started with this, somewhere in the past, someone must have booked a debit or a left-hand side of the T account for other operating expenses. And then it's just a matter, matter of solving for the middle. You notice it helps you a little bit here because it says, hey, cash payments for other operating expenses were made for 4300 Well, if we make cash payments, that means cash is going to drop. Remember, cash is an asset. It has a normal debit balance. We're going to credit it or lower it. And when you lower that cash, it's for these liabilities payable for other operating expenses. So there's your middle. Beginning ending and there's your middle I just showed you this so you could see the other side of that entry and then you're just taking the adjusting amount if you take 660 uh, minus 4300 and you want to end up with 740 the difference is 4380 and 4380 that liabilities payable represents how much was booked to the debit account of other operating expenses remember all of these have to have a balance or an offset if uh, if this is the adjusting difference that makes this work then somewhere there, there had to be a debit to other operating expense, which is what it's asking you. What is the other operating expense? So we let's put our 4380. And we got our answer. Again, it's less important what the magic answer is. I'm less concerned with that. I'm more concerned with your ability to use these. You know, notice how we used receivables to back into sales revenue for the year, you know, beginning and ending. And for prepaid insurance, we had beginning and ending and the middle. So it's kind of helping you. Beginning, ending, middle. Beginning, ending, middle. And here you have beginning, ending, middle. It's just a matter of knowing what side to put it on. If you can master that in terms of what the middle, where the individual components in the middle go, uh, then you can get, you can back into the expense or the revenue. This gets better with practice. Please don't do these once and think you have it down. Uh, as you work through them and get used to, you know, solving, uh, you get the beginning and the ending and solving for the middle based on what they give you, you can become good at it. If you just do it once and try it and that's it, it will not stick and you won't be able to answer it on test day. I hope you found this useful.